Hi, I'd like to share with you a type of problem that I think is really great for relating multiplication, division, and fractions together. Um, and this is going to be um, a, a type of question that uses a tape diagram. So let me show you what I mean here. So we call it a tape diagram because this little box here sort of looks like a strip of tape. And we can name this hole here anything we want to. So I'm going to say the value of this hole is, let's make it 20. 20 holes. So the value of this whole unit here is 20 holes. Now I'm going to divide this unit into let's say four equally sized pieces and I want to know what does one-fourth of 20 equal So if I wanted to find one fourth of 20, how could I use this diagram to help me out? And just so we're clear, one fourth of 20 would be represented by this area right here. It's one piece out of four. And uh, remember that I said that each of these areas here is equal. So we need to think, all right, I have four equal areas. What must the value of those areas be to add up to 20? Well, I know 20 divided by four equals five. So each of these areas here represents the whole number five. And since I'm only considering one part out of four, one fourth of 20 would just be five. Now let's take a look at maybe an example that's a bit more complex. So again, I'm gonna start by drawing a tape diagram. And I hope you, for, you will forgive me here for not drawing perfectly here with perfectly equal sections. Uh, but let's say that this whole unit here is 24. And I'm going to divide this unit 24 into six equally spaced areas. And I want to know I want to know what would 4 sixths of 24 be? So what would the value of this distance here be? So 4 sixths of 24 equals what? And again, I'm, I'm going to shade these areas in here. All right, so this is, this is the part of the diagram or the tape diagram I'm interested in. All right, so first things first, I need to know what the value of each of these areas are, uh, is. And uh, since I have 24 total, and I've divided this whole unit 24 into six equal uh, areas, 24 divided by six is four. So each of these spaces here represents four. And uh, since I want to know what 4 sixths of this 24 is, uh, I can add up 4 fours together, which is going to give me 16. And that answers the question, what is 4 sixths of 24? It equals 16. Um, so it, it, this is a really cool way to combine multiplication concepts with division concepts with fraction concepts. Um, and eventually students are going to be using scenarios um, with these types of tape diagrams. Uh, so for example, and uh, a lot of kids uh, collect Pokemon cards, so I usually uh, talk about Pokemon cards when I first introduce this type of problem. Uh, so we'll say Bob has 12 Pokemon cards 
and uh, we'll say that uh, three fourths of his uh, collection are um, blue. I probably have some kids watching this going, man, this guy has no idea about Pokemon cards. And that, and that they would be true uh, or correct. I, I know very little about Pokemon. Um, but anyway, Bob has 12 Pokemon cards. Three-fourths of his collection are blue. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a unit here. I'm going to say this whole unit is representing 12. That's the total amount of cards in this problem. Um and then since we want to know three-fourths, I'm going to divide this whole unit here, this unit of 12 into four equally partitioned areas here. And uh, since I'm interested in three out of the four, three-fourths of 12, uh, these boxes right here are going to tell me what three-fourths of 12 is. Four equal spaces. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, meaning that the value of each of these fourths is 3. If I have 3 out of the 4, 3 times 3, oh, I'm sorry, 3 plus 3 plus 3 gives me 9. So 9 is 3 fourths of 12. And so Bob has 9 Pokemon cards that are blue out of his 12 Pokemon card collection. Uh, so as time goes on, we'll be investigating situations like these and using tape diagrams to make sense out of them. Um, there is an assignment uh, where students uh, will be interpreting these types of diagrams to find fractions of whole numbers. Um, again, if you have questions, please let me know through a reminder email. Thank you for watching.